Hi, it's Julian Barker. I'm here with Heather, who has had the first paddleboarding experience this year, not the first time, and come in and said, uh, are we doing any filming today? Because I've got a really sore left knee and left shoulder. We've just been talking about the action of paddleboarding and it's two on one side and then two on the other. So it's, it's not as if it's all one side, but you are left-handed as well. So a bit like me and all the best people. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that should <coughs> stream of Oh, right, have you jump let's, uh, let's have a look. We're out of masks uh, filming today for actually the first time, thanks to Public Health England and for their withdrawing their requirements for that, 798 days after we did lockdown. Whoop. Well, that's as of filming date. Hmm? That's as of that's filming. That's on the filming day as well when this gets released. It might be different, but uh, there we go. Probably going oh, up next month. Okay, your left PD usually? No, right. Okay, turn your head all the way left, turn your head to the right, back to the centre. Mm okay, not a lot in it, but left PD, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're definitely left. So it's about um, 0.1 of an inch on the left side, but normally right. So it, Point if it switches, um, as I was taught, if they switch, then you switch. It's to do with dominant side of um, cerebellar function. And typically, if it's a fairly recent injury, it will switch quite quickly, i.e. typically before you get into the mid thoracics, often the very early on will do. So, of course, that means that protocol-wise, we're going straight for the knee and uh, there we go, easy pickings. So left lateral tibia. For those that say, yeah, uh, did you feel it, that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely feel it through the shoe. Um, and uh, so the good news is you can quite comfortably adjust through the shoe as long as you can find the end of the uh, fifth metatarsal to uh, locate where you need to adjust then. Um, you're away. Okay. I would say that's leveled up straight away, so I'll go back to checking you as a, as a right PD. I think there was a comment about that, you know, if it's the right PD, why are you going for? Sometimes I'm actually trying to stress test. So actually see if I can deliberately bring on that subluxation to, um, then we can find a way to adjust. Virtual subluxation complex, if you need, but certainly the functional error. Where is the information being corrupted? At what point do we need to input to get things to change? Effectively, the right P I ilium. Various studies. You know, which is the most common? Is it the right P? Is it the P I or the left or the A S ilium? Or, mm. Then I check both and then you'll know. Right, um, sorry, squeeze your knees together and let go. Okay, cool. Right hand up behind your back. Swap your hands around. Both hands up behind your back together. Both back down by side. So it looks like I get a change on L5 at the right, which is an opportunity also to check that the PD did actually switch. So if I go to L5 or thereabouts and deliberately give it a shove and I see a shift. Cool. Uh, so the corrective, there we go. So it's a way of working out that actually that PD, you are a right PD and it was uh, just looking a bit odd at the beginning. Uh, Make sure you do the pause because the ramp and hold makes a massive difference. Take your right hand up by your face. Big deep breath in and out. Left hand up as well. Both that down by thirds. Turn head right. Lift the right shoulder off the couch and down. Shrug both shoulders up to your ears. Down. Squeeze the right elbow flat against your side and let go. Squeeze the left one in and let go. So right medial, left lateral scapular pattern. Shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. 
head back into the centre. Those are doing the activator adjustments, please do put comments on there for those that find a right medial or left lateral scapula pattern. Specific, a lot of times people who, who spend a lot of time doing manual stuff. Well, I guess paddle boiling counts as a, it's not quite manual labour, is it? Manual fun. It's definitely lots of arms. Set in three here. And back up. Good. Just lift up your head. Back down. Tuck your chin down to your chest. Back to centre. Push your face down into the couch and let go. Good, stretch right hand to right knee, and there you go. Left hand to left knee, and there you go. Okay. Um, lift the right hip up off the couch, and back down. Same on the left, back down. There we go, so that was worth doing. So that was the L3 regular test on the PD side and on the OP test is the enhancement test and it's definitely showing up there. Um, so, L3, femoral nerve, quads, knees, all of that jazz. Whole L3 knee link, I believe. Somebody please correct me. It goes back to Gonstead and the Green Books. Um, okay, so let's go straight for actual left knee, anterior, posterior, internal rotation, maybe external rotation. I'm going to go for the internal rotation. So if you're trying to get a rotational force to stimulate through the tibia, up, mind, shin bone, get contact. There we go. Yep. So that is an anterior proximal. In textbook, it talks about uh, posterior proximal fibula heads. Uh, fine, you will if you go looking for them. You'll find anteriors as well. to the knee, patella. We love going inferior, they occasionally will go natural. Um, you can check the medial, although I don't tend to find too many of those, and superior, I'm just pushing up there, probably a waste of time, and is. Moving up to the hip joint, so looking at internal, external rotation. Okay, worth checking. So the TFL, there's a you just grab tissue and it's just a tissue pull. So just grab it and pull it off. Not really. Um, push against me. And there you go. So quads and hamstrings pull to heel to head. And there you go. Let's do that again. And there you go. I said earlier, I'm really trying not to influence that. No. So push both knees down into the couch and let go. Okay. Upper shoulders and I know from my paddle canoeing experience, uh, traps tend to take a fair beasting. So um, turn your head to the right, tip the back of your head towards your left shoulder. And there would be a very clear trapezius trigger point right head back into the center. Yep, I'm sure it's the biggest trigger point. It's sensitive at the best of times. And there's a, a comparison trial from a while ago, uh, activator adjustments versus, I think it was massage exercise and acupuncture. 
uh, and they all come out as effective the in terms of the increased neck movement immediately after actually the equity tool was top i believe let me know if i'm wrong um, let's have palm of left hand up onto the back of your neck superior scapula arm back down by side left hand up behind your back that's it push outwards and let go so looking for oh, oh, there we go um, arm back down by side so global medial scapula so we had a uh, a lateral earlier and this is like a global medial where it can't be going out and in at the same time but it does mean to say that the rhomboids are tight and somewhat fighting against the other muscles and uh, well for those that have been paying very close attention to the videos Heather has had a rhomboid issue in the past And turn your head to the right, take your left hand up above your head. That's the other left hand, but don't matter, we were doing both. Swap your hands around, just checking T5 and T3. And right hand up as well. Now, both back down by side. Good, head back into the center. Good. Hopefully, that will settle things down. Obviously, if you've got sore muscles, they're going to should settle down in a couple of days anyway. But um, let's make sure. Okay, cool. See you next time.